Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And what we have here, of course, is one of the conservatives' favorite stores out there, Tractor Supply. You probably have heard of it if you live in any rural uh, area in the country uh, where they provide, obviously, things for the farm. Uh, everything from chickens to fencing they provide. And what we have learned now that now that it's being exposed by uh, good, diligent uh, citizens out there is how absolutely they hate its actual customer base. And they are totally, totally bought in to all of the woke propaganda. We're going to go over the list of things here that they are now funding uh, with every dollar that you buy from Tractor Supply is now going to these programs. And I'm sure that you would not want your hard earned money going to a company like this. They have lost over $200 million, I believe, or $2 billion in stocks uh, over the last couple of weeks when this story broke. I just now came across them. Sorry, I'm a little late. If you already know about it, fantastic. I'm glad you know about it. I'm glad that you are uh, more in it than I am. Uh, thanks for doing that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the story uh, being broken by Robbie Starbuck over there on Twitter. So follow him over there on Twitter. It says, it's time to expose tractor supply. It's one of the most beloved brands in America by conservatives. But what do you, but what uh, do they really stand for under their CEO leadership? Well, this is what they stand for. LGBTQIA plus training for their employees. That's right. Got to make sure their employees are in compliance with all of the updated LGBTWXYZ propaganda. Funding of pride and drag events. That's right. Tractor Supply is now funding pride and drag events. So that way you can go ahead and take your kids to a drag event uh, and they can perform uh, very, very inappropriate dances in front of them. That's fantastic, right? Uh, what a good American uh, brand right there that is, right? They have a DEI council. That's right. Uh, DEI, if you don't know, is uh, where they base their hiring practices off just skin color alone, making those quotas. doesn't matter if you are actually qualified for the position or job or whatever. They will hand it out to someone who is not qualified because they can check a box and they'll get their pat on the back by other corporate uh, brands out there. They're funding sex changes. That's right. With every purchase of a chicken you buy there in tractor supply, dollars of those go to sex changes changes that are being funded by your dollars every time you shop at Tractor Supply. They are also funding climate change activism. People like Greta Thunberg, not that they're directly funding her, but people like her. Recently, you probably saw the wackos that ran on top, uh, ran on, on the golf, um, the golf event they had last weekend where they tried to spray paint the uh, final green uh, there, um, there where they're holding that, that contest and they were quickly arrested. Those are the wackos these guys are funding, right? They're also, don't worry, they got their Pride Month decorations in the office. That's right, their corporate headquarters has no shortage of Pride decorations. They got Pride and Pride and more Pride. They really, really like celebrating that butt sex. They really do. Um, of course, the DEI hiring practice, we just covered that. And they're also hosting LGBT WXYZ events at work. That's right. So I'm sure they're having plenty of drag events happening and those inappropriate type of uh, LGBT WXYZ events that they're having in their office. Right. How uh, also like post attacking unvaccinated people. Uh, Al uh, Allison W Sports, when she left ESPN over the covid vaccine, uh, let's just say those likes make it appear he's not fond of people who chose to skip the vaccine. Uh, he says, uh, Robbie Starbucks here says, I take no pleasure in bringing this all to light. I am a Tennessean who loves to support Tennessee companies, but I'm a proud Tennessean. I know that these woke priorities do not align with our state's or tractor supply customer base. We must make our voices heard. Hal Lawton, who the CEO is, needs to understand that we will we don't want our hard-earned money spent on these woke priorities. If he supports this stuff, then he should spend some of his $11 million salary or tens of millions in stocks on it instead of using the money we spend at Tractor Supply. So yeah, so this is what's happening at Tractor Supply. Um, and of course, they're, recently their stock price has taken a huge hit 
after the breaking of the story by Robbie Starbuck with many people coming to light about it. I have not heard about it till just yesterday. I went ahead and uh, bookmarked the story so I could share it with you guys. And hopefully if you guys haven't heard about it, you will share it as well. This is what Tractor Supply now stands for. It's not about, it's not about uh, selling chickens. It's about hosting drag events. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me in all my socials in the descriptions down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great day.